This is to help with unstable weight or fluctuating weight on the weight beam system. So the most common issue is the cable itself. So this is an example of a cable, the home run cable that goes from the weight beams to the 901 indicator. If you see any smush dented areas or little snap in the cable, this will cause your unstable fluctuating weight. And you can always email sales at optimascale.com and order a replacement home run cable for the weight beams if this is your problem. We will be checking the wiring and this is also how you'll be changing out the home run cable for your weight beam system. So here are my two weight beams. This applies to 12 inch, 24 inch, 40, 48 inch weight beams, but same problem with the cable. So first, you will turn over both your weight beams and check the cable. So I have turned over both of my weight beams and you can see a junction box, black box. This is where all the cabling for the load cells, these gray rectangular, where the feet screw in. They'll have a cable that goes into the junction box and all the wiring are here. So it's very important to check the wiring inside of here. So you can see the gray cable. This is where mine got damaged. And the gray cable goes inside to the junction box. This is the overhead view. You see a little bit better how the gray cable, the home run cable got damaged. It goes inside to the junction box. So first you will unscrew all six screws and open up junction box. I have the six screws removed. Move the black base plate and junction box. And you'll see the connectors with different colored cables go inside each one. Pull on every single cable one by one and make sure that they're all plugged in all the way. If you notice one of them are loose You'll see a mini flathead here. Go counterclockwise and loosen it up. Pull the cable in and then tighten it down. This green cable here, it's a little loose. You see the wire sticking out slightly. We will actually tighten this down by loosening this connector and pulling the cable up. Counterclockwise, it loosens up the cable. Now we pull it out. You'll notice, for example, this is your cable. You have to put it in. Make sure it's loose up here all the way. Make sure the cable's fine. Put it in to the slot. Make sure it goes all the way in. Where you see none of the metal housing sticking out. Then you will go clockwise and screw in the cable all the way. Now keep going to each load cell and make sure all the wires are in. One of these wires are loose and load cell will cause unstable and fluctuating weight. So one by one, the rest of my cables are fine. So here, this cable, it's a home run cable. It is the gray cable that got damaged. You notice it here. So if you're placing the home run cable, I'll show you how to do that now. So this is the wiring. You'll see E positive for the first one. That's your red cable. E negative, which is excitation negative, being your black cable. Your next law will be S positive, which is your green cable. Next one will be S negative, which is your white cable. Signal negative. GND is your ground, which is like your yellow or clear cable. Or if any loose wires were here, either way, you make sure everything's correct, and this should help you fluctuate in weight. Put the plate for junction box back on, and put the six screws that are on each corner back on. Now I have all the screws back. So now you're gonna turn over your way beams and actually test it out. Hopefully this fixed your issue, it was just a wiring issue or the home run cable had to be replaced. But let's test it out. 
And the next section will be for people where the fluctuating weight or unstable weight is still there, even whether a home run cable that's been inspected, not damaged or replaced, but you still have fluctuating weight. Could be possible one of the load cells, it could be fixed. So that'll be a test for people that have this did not fix your issue. I have my wave beams turned over. So hopefully you connected your both your home run cables to your OP901 and hopefully this will fix your issue. If not, we'll do what's called a corner test and seeing which load cell and which corner is bad. And I'm testing each corner to seeing which one is off. So take your weight. You can stand on it if you don't have a weight yourself. And you're placing it on each corner. So take your weight. Record how this is the bottom left, bottom right. Take your weight. Bottom left. Make sure the weight beams are connected to your indicator. And write down what the weight is. For example, this is 25 pound weight. This is 25. That's good. Next, you'll take your weight and put it in the bottom right. And let's say this was also 25. That's good. Place your weight here. Let's say the weight was 23 pounds. And when you place the weight over here on the top left, it was two pounds. That means that this corner load cell is bad. So you'll be following the same steps to remove the load cell and replace it with one that's better. For my previous test, I saw that this top left corner was giving me a bad weight where I was reading three pounds. The other corners were fine, but it was my top left corner. So you'll do is take this weigh beam and turn it over and let's see where the load cell wiring goes into. So this would be my top left load cell. When I had the feed installed, make sure the feed installed, you'll see how the black cable here goes into the junction box right here. This is also has replaced, so you'll loosen the cable from the junction box, take it out, you'll unscrew these two bolts, and take the loads out and replace it with a new one. You can order from us, but it's best to email support at optimascale.com to see further test on if the load cell itself is bad. You can mention how you tried a corner test on each corner and one corner was off. That will help us out a lot if you email support at optimalskill.com so you can find out which load cell is bad and which needs to be replaced. This will be the final step. See unstable or fluctuating weight on your waving system.